what's poppin' you guys it's jay and today i'm back with another video Ooh, the light is lighting how are you guys doing today so today's video you guys is going to be a spend the day with me i have a few errands to run this morning and then i have an eye doctor appointment later and then i plan on cooking maybe cleaning a little bit not like a thousand percent sure on everything i'm doing today but i have a few things that i want to go ahead and do so right now i am headed to the gym i feel like we start eddie eddie every video going off to the gym but like i gotta go get my workout in y'all it's for the games got to get it in so we're heading to the gym right now um i'm actually going to do upper body i feel like i always take you guys to the gym with me on a lower body day and for once i'm actually doing upper body today so that's pretty good um but yeah so i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get to the gym i may stop and get gas i don't know if i'm gonna get gas before or after your bitch want party with party party and party in the robbery that's all over my body shitting all over my body cardi got a bitch on my bitch when gang you lame i'm dropping in the lane fuck the brain who wants saying insane pick up a chick on the chain pick up a chick in the play crazy to make you upset cardi got a bitch they upset yeah cardi put the pussy on upset cardi got a brain on upset crazy to make you upset cardi got a bitch they upset yeah cardi put the pussy on upset cardi got a brain on upset crazy to make you upset cardi got a bitch they upset yeah cardi put the pussy on upset cardi got a brain on upset this motherfucker started Bye. You took your bitch at the party Bye. I took your bitch at the party Bye. Who that be blast from all shit Bye. Who that don't think in the cut Bye. Who got the bricks in the truck Bye. Your diamonds go hit like a bitch When a bitch had bitch Bitch you don't wanna be caught Made by them MJ moonwalk on a bitch Moonwalking through your place I'm moonwalking in the city Bitch you with your kick Moonwalk on this bitch I'm for the motherfucking wrong just finished my workout i never got to tell y'all where my fit was from today top is sheen and bottoms are sheen y'all already know i be sheen the fuck out so you know it wasn't hard to figure it out but now i'm about to go and change and freshen up and then we're gonna head to go run those errands all right y'all now we are leaving the gym i had a really good workout it took me about a little over an hour to get it all done um i did like a shy girl workout um where it's just like for more towards beginners so if you're a beginner really pay attention to that workout portion of the video i believe i'm gonna do a voiceover over it so i can like explain what i'm doing and whatnot um but yeah that part will be really really good for beginners um we're gonna go to walmart so right now we're coming up to the gas station thankfully there's a gas station like right across the street from crunch that i usually come to what it is about today but like i'm feeling so cute today you know i told y'all like for the past few videos i keep my deodorant in the pool so let me just spray a little a little spray on me i'm still a little bit sweaty but i'm gonna turn on my hair to help like pull all that sweat out i'm also trying to keep my hair really fresh i just did my hair like it's today friday i think it's been like exactly a week yeah, it's been exactly a week with my hair and it still looks super, super good. Um, I've been tying it down right after the gym every day because I think that's really what like makes 
the first things I need to get is some bread. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a good old great value type of girl. Already, but I know I need to go to the freezer section to get some of them. Look. Oh, I also need to get a pack of chicken. I'm gonna get that, but I need to go to the freezer section and get some broccoli. I'm gonna make some broccoli and chicken and rice aroni tonight. All right, I got the broccoli. Um, oh yeah, my bestie wanted me to get some tortillas. I'm gonna have to go back by the bread. I'm kind of going like all out of order right now. I'm kind of just trying to grab what I'm remembering to grab in a moment. All right guys, we got all of the food that we need now. I just want to go and look at the furniture section. Um, I don't know if y'all been in Walmart recently, but Walmart is like completely redoing most of their stores and they're making it look like more aesthetic and trying to get better products in the stores. And while they're doing that, they've been having some pretty good sales. So I just wanna um, get some I just wanna pop in and see what we have on sale because if it's on sale it's worth the purchase you know why because you got it on sale um i'm not really seeing anything right now to be honest in this sale aisle specifically um but brian and i are moving i don't know if i've like officially announced that on here or not but yes brian and i are moving so the plan is to start getting some stuff before we move so we'll be moving it's not like we have nothing because that security deposit. Mm. I don't even want to talk about it. But you know what? It's okay because I could see us. You go ahead, baby. Okay. Because I can see us. Yeah, you're fine. I can see us um, living at this place like for a while. I really, really, really like the space. And I just think all this going to take is for us to make it our own. And I think... I think all it's going to take is for us to make it our own and it'll be something that we stick with. So I just want to pass by the furniture section. See what I'm talking about? They're just like elevating it. This is actually the futon couch I plan on ordering. Actually, I don't think it is. I think it's almost like it. But this is what I'm planning on. I also really want one of these. This is what it looks like. I really want one of those. I've wanted one of those chairs ever since I was younger. My aunt had one in her house and we would literally fight over who could sit in it because it's so comfortable and it's like the perfect place to just like read or chill out or study or do homework and it's just, it's literally perfect. So yeah, I've always wanted one in my house and now that I got some big girl money, I'm gonna make sure I get one. And then I also wanna look at comforters because we're definitely gonna get a new comforter set. I don't know what color I wanna get. And also comforter sets be expensive for like no reason. So I don't know when we're gonna get our comforter set. I would probably not get it from Walmart. I would probably get it from um, Ross because their stuff is just gonna be cheaper and just as nice as quality. Okay, I think I saw everything I needed to see. Oh, actually, I'm so glad I came on this side because I forgot a few things that I need. I could get them from Dollar Tree. I just get them from Dollar Tree, the stuff that I'm thinking about anyway. All right, let's head to check out. I'll see you guys at the car.
right guys we have two more stops i'm going to run into dollar tree real quick grab a few then things i'm gonna go ahead and run into um the thrift store i just want to look at whatever furniture they have i don't think i'm gonna buy anything i just want to go in real quick and see what kind of furniture they have all right guys i took my stuff i got my stuff out of dollar tree now i'm gonna go peek in the thrift store but like i said i'm not gonna buy anything so i might not even vlog in there goodwill is such a hit or miss store like sometimes they have furniture in there you're like oh my god this is in a goodwill and then when you're actually like going in there to look for stuff to buy i feel like that's when i never find anything but when i go in there and i'm like i'm not gonna buy anything that's when i find stuff but this time absolutely not i didn't see anything that was worthwhile on the furniture department uh, everything was just either like really really dingy and should have honestly probably just been given away or they people could have gotten it clean and stuff first i don't know i know the whole point is you buy it from goodwill and you like fix it up yourself but like eh, it gotta be at least a little bit fixed up for me so we are done for the day we are about to head to the house and then later on i have oh i forgot to get ziploc bags i'm gonna have to go back in dollar tree and get these ziploc bags and then we're gonna head to the house all right guys it is 2 43 i have all my glasses as you guys can see let me turn this way yeah now y'all can see i have all my glasses um because i feel like usually they make you take your glasses off during an eye exam and i had my contacts in earlier and i feel like they might want me to take them out so i just went ahead and put on my glasses i actually fixed them they were like i hadn't been wearing them because the lens kept popping out and so i thought they were broken but i realized the screw just needed to be screwed in and luckily my boyfriend had an eyeglass repair kit so yeah i fixed them i don't usually wear my glasses often i don't really like these frames um that's probably the reason why i'm going to the eye doctor now so i can get new frames and new contacts so yeah let's go get these eyes checked out and then after that we're gonna go to my job and i'm gonna do my training for work because my boss is texting everybody that it needs to be done today and i was off today but i'm gonna go in and just get it done Oh yeah, I did make a slight wardrobe change. I kept on my shirt, um, but I put on some leggings just in case it's kind of cold in there because it's hot outside. So I'm not putting on no more than this. I have a jacket in the car if it's like freezing in there for some reason. But yeah, I'm not putting on no more than this because it's still hot. Your girl got super lucky and they had the glasses I wanted in stock. So they were able to cut my lenses today with the new prescription. How do we like, how do we like? I feel like they're cute. I feel like they're subtle. I feel like they fit my face. I like them, I really like them. I'm still definitely gonna wear my contacts, but I think like, you know, just to give my eyes a break every now and then, or like when I'm at home, I definitely could be putting this on and taking my contacts off. So really like these. Now we are headed to my job to go ahead and do that training and maybe get some coffee. Cause when I go home, I'm supposed to be cooking. All right guys, so I went ahead and cooked off camera because I was tired after the eye doctor. So I came in and just got to it food is done garlic parmesan chicken breast with rice and roti and broccoli it took like 30 minutes to make it's so good chicken is so tender so i'm about to eat this smash it up and i will see you guys in a little bit